Hmm. Yeah, all right. It looks like it actually worked out. Sorry there. Um, having some technical difficulties trying to get this, this, all these pieces lined up and actually working together uh, is, is, well, I mean, it's, it's not terrible, but it's not as easy as it could be. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Joshua. And this uh, little series, streaming series I do is called uh, Lunch Break Roguelike, where I work on a small project on my lunch hour, uh, which happens to be a little roguelike. Uh, behind my head here is the website, uh, github.com slash Joshua Skelly slash lunch dash break dash RL. Uh, it's open source. Uh, you can follow along if you want. I tag every single episode. So this should be, should be the beginning of episode 19. Cool. So you can do a git checkout EP19 if you want to follow along. Uh, but you don't have to. It's not really strictly a tutorial. It is just me working on a, a, a thing. And that thing happens to be a, a roguelike written in Python using the TDL library. And it's using the library I also wrote to handle Twitch chat integration. So people from Twitch chat can, can play, which is cool. Uh, let me pop open a command prompt and let's get working. Uh, cool, let's just do a, let's actually let's go to my repositories. Do the correct, there we go, let's do a git log. It looks like the last thing, yeah, so picking up items no longer blocks. So that was an issue where uh, items could potentially block people from moving around, which is not, which is not great. Um, hey, Jonathan, uh, thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Let's do python game.py. And this should launch the game, uh, which it does. Uh, you can see here the left is a listing of all the uh, objects and entities, and on the right is a listing of all the players. Um, I guess a, a cold has already died, because I don't know, they're, they're fighting in there. Uh, uh, I can draw walls uh, from my, with my mouse, and I can make a little level for us to explore. Uh, so I'll do that. Uh, right now I'm just, I'm just, you know, this is, this is a very, like a very typical roguelike-y kind of uh, level, you know, with just little box rooms and hallways and stuff. Uh, mostly if you, uh, I'm doing this also because um, a few streams ago I implemented FOV, which was, which was not as bad as I thought it might be. Um, and over here in chat, you can type in join and you will join. Yeah, so there I am next to a kobold wielding a sword. Yikes, and he's coming after me. Um, let me go see if I can punch him with my fists. Hey, D-Bash, welcome back, man. Appreciate it. Am I? Oh, I got him. Cool. Yeah, and I, I took his sword. Though I did take a little bit of damage. Uh, there's that pink exclamation point, which should be a, a potion. And D-Bash is going to smack me. I'll get you. Uh, there's a kobold that has a sword, and there's an axe down there too, D-Bash. Uh, that orange K is not a kobold; it's it's uh, Dakota. So you shouldn't, you probably shouldn't slay him. Ah, oh, <laughs> the kobold killed me. Ah, oh, sad times. Cool. So that's the kind of the current state of things, and I guess there there are a few things I want to work on. Um, also, let me let me tweet this out. Uh, yeah, because I guess I, I I could I don't know I I feel comfortable sharing this progress now because I, I it's actually somewhat playable. Um, yeah, there we go. Cool. 
enough, enough social media and cool. And it looks like Dakota and Dbash are hacking away at stuff in there. Well, actually, neither of them have weapons. That's not good. Uh, cool. So, um, yeah. Let me think. So, I think I want to. Um, right now, when a player a player can join and a player can leave. And right now, when the player leaves, um, uh, I need to call their. I, I should call their die first, so they drop anything that they have. Because right now, when players leave and they have items, uh, they don't drop the items. They it just gets uh, it just gets gobbled up uh, by the garbage collector. So um, that's not good. Uh, they probably should drop their items when they die. Um, I want to try adding some new items, actually. So uh, maybe uh, changing how things interact. Um, what I really want to do is I want to add uh, the dagger. That's my idea. Uh, so what the dagger would do is it does two damage and it allows you to make a counterattack when something attacks you which would make you way more formidable i think um it could also make the kobolds a little bit more tricky as well um this may be overpowered but it's something i want to try working on implementing because i think it, it adds a little uh, extra extra little uh dimension to, to think about okay so let's go ahead and stop this and get to work Okay, so I think on player, player has a die. Die. Uh, they don't, but I think creature does. And players are creatures. Uh, creature die down here. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, if, if you're not, if, you, if, you, if you're wielding something other than your fist, um, go ahead and drop it at your current position. Uh, cool. Um, so let's look at Twitch chat manager. And um, yeah, so right now, um, so if a player calls leave, um, let's just say, because I think, I think the, the creature die calls its remove. Let me click, close that close. Uh, get up some of my windows here. Creature.die. So it does call self remove, which is good. So I just need to do something like uh, um, also I need to fix this usage here. So E, 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 uh, E, uh, E dot die. So they will, they will perish, um, but that's okay when they leave. Yeah, John, Jonathan is asking, uh, you can't drop your fist. Uh, my first implementation, you could. Uh, I wasn't quite doing the check right. And so when people started killing kobolds, kobolds started dropping their severed fists, um, which was funny, uh, but not, not necessarily useful. Um, so let me test. This, this should work, but let me just test it real quick because I'm being paranoid. Uh, Python, give me a pie. And I just need to join real quick and Find a weapon. And then leave. Okay, but now I have to join again because um, I can't see. Hey, False Park Location, thanks for coming back. Uh, I appreciate you uh, uh, becoming a regular. So I need, now I need to go verify that the actual sword dropped correctly. I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, it did. Cool. All right, let me close that out. Uh, let's just, um, I just made that one change. Let's just add it. So let's commit it. Players drop weapon when uh, leaving game. Push this out. All right. Um, yeah. So let's 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 think about this whole this whole new new item thing. And actually, I think what I want to do is creature. I want to add a hurt method. Um, so let's put it right next to die because I guess that 
Makes sense in my brain, so def hurt. Um, self. So right now, if we look at, I think it's the action that handles that. So, uh, and my font's too big to do that. So let's just close that. So um, we have an attack action. Um, uh, da, 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 perform. Um, so damage dealt is equal to one. Damage dealt is equal to damage dot weapon. Um, so it's uh, self target current health minus equals damage dealt. Um, so what I'd rather do is call uh, the targets hurt method, and that way we can do uh, we, can, we can make some more decisions without having to have all that logic live here in this attack action. So. Um, and we want to call hurt with what? Um, ba, 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 ba. I mean, this should be all right. Well, let's, let's, let's we want to we want to pass the damage dealt, and maybe maybe the action itself might be nice uh, because with the action we can get the owner and stuff like that. Maybe or I don't know. So let's just let's just start working on it. So. Let's just pass in hurt, uh, damage, and uh, uh, action. I don't want to. Um, yeah, I don't want to override that. So let's say um, uh, hurt action. Uh, so self dot. Um, yeah, just self dot current health uh, minus equals damage. And then here I can just say self dot target dot hurt uh, damage dealt and self. There we go. Yeah, yeah. It's unused at the, this time, but that's okay. This is just a generic uh, hurt action, and let's just test that. And folks, I, again, feel free to, whenever I'm running this, feel free to jump in. I can't guarantee that it'll, it'll last a long time, but um, uh, I appreciate the, the, the help uh, in, in debugging this stuff. Right now I'm trying to see if um, the attack, attacking still works. Okay. Uh, hey, Nymphius, I, I'm recovered. I think the last time you were on the stream, I was... Um, ooh, I equipped the X, which... Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, I think last time you saw me, I was um, I was hurting. I had uh, some sort of sinus issue going on. Um, yeah, so that that seems to work just fine. But no, I I am I am much better. Uh, thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Um, cool. I'm also thinking, w would it be weird to give weapons hooks on different, like on, uh, like hurt and die? What I want, because I mean, uh, cause I'm trying to think of how to implement this counterattack, like um, for the items. Uh, I thought I created a sword item. Oh, I mean, yeah, all the items right now are just slammed into this one file, which I guess is fine. So let's make a dagger. Uh, which is of type uh, held item. Uh, let's just copy this. Because right now the implementation is going to be very uh, uh, very similar to the sword. Um, its character is D for dagger. Its name is dagger. And its damage is two. Oh, this might be too much. Um, um, 
And I guess the verb. A sword slashes and a dagger uh, slashes also? Uh, if, you, if you folks have a better suggestion. Stabs? Maybe? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just try this out and see if I, I like, if I like it or if I hate it. And then, um, so if they if they survive that, so on hurt, let's also say like if um, uh, self dot current health less than self dot or less than z less than equal to zero. Uh, self dot die return. Otherwise, um, if uh, has adder uh, self dot held item, this always should be something uh, by default. The held item is a fist, um, so this should, this should be an okay check. Um, as adder. Uh, hurt. Uh, self dot held item dot hurt. Um, damage and hurt action. Uh, Fist has no no hurt member. That's fine. I'm just I'm checking for it up here. So that should be okay. Um, okay, and then in item and dagger, I guess def. Hurt, or maybe we should have like a on hurt. That makes more sense. Um, self damage and hurt action. Okay, let's go to the creature again, and let's say if it has a hurt underscore or on hurt, uh, and we're call on hurt, and um. I guess for now, uh, so owner equals hurt action dot target and hurt er equals, I mean, the action should also have a, should be hurt action dot owner. So this should be the person who's holding the dagger. This should be the person who is attacking. We'll call it attacker instead of hurter. I think that, that makes more sense. Um, um, yep, do have action. So uh, what I want to do is uh, uh, counter equals action dot attack action. Um, target is attacker. Uh, is that right? What does attack action take? Um, constructor takes just a target. Oh, because uh, usually, usually the brain. No, no. You when you when you when you, when you execute it, you uh, you call owner. Okay, so um, if counter dot prerequisite, um, and the owner is uh, owner. Uh, counter dot perform owner. I think I think that should be okay. And I'm really I'm really starting to think like I'm, I'm seeing I'm starting to see these actions being used outside the brain class a lot more. And I'm I'm starting to think maybe I should uh, rethink how my how the brain class works. Um, but this should be okay. Um. Let's throw it in the level and just see what happens. Uh, so let's go to the scene. Um, and I have some hard-coded stuff up here. 
Uh, so I have a sword, and let me also just copy this and make a dagger. Uh, item dot dagger. Uh, position equals uh, five. Five. I guess that's fine. I don't need to define a here or here. I don't need need to define uh, the name because that's already uh, defined in the constructor. And yeah, let's test this out. Uh, also, let's, let's also let's make the dungeon master drop them sometimes too. Um, uh, let's do something like um, uh, elif uh, roll less than equal to zero point uh, five is fine. Uh, D equals item dot dagger at position equals position and F, uh, that should be it right that's all i need the, the 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 even here at the sword this uh the constructor should be setting up yeah the, the the palette so we don't even need to worry about that either that should be okay um yeah that's just that should be all what we need and i think even this potion probably has correct stuff no it is there's no default color for that that's okay um, yep, that's that, the, uh, current scene dot entities dot append D. Uh, this, uh, let me see, uh, I'm not refactoring whole classes. Uh, this is not a full-time project. This is a lunchtime project. So I have an hour every weekday to spend on it. Cool. Uh, as always, folks, feel feel free to jump in. Um, we need to, we need to test out the daggers and this, their stabbiness. So uh, feel free to jump in and start. Uh, even using them on each other would be hilarious. Join. Okay, I thought there should have been one like right up here with me. Oh no, does a kobold have a dagger? Should have been at 5.5, five, which should be like roughly where I'm at. Hold on, did I not add it to the scene? Let me double check that. Um, Scene.py. Yeah, no, the new dagger at 5.5. Five. Uh, I don't create the kobold directly on top of that, do I? I thought they were, yeah, they're further down. Um, yeah, that should be, that should be working. Yeah, there's the axe and a bunch of kobolds. Oh, hold on. Are these cords in? These cords are in a uh, full, full on. Um, yeah, the, these cords are relative to the um, uh, the console, not the actual level itself. There's a there's a there's a, um there's a weird translation thing going on there, which. Um, Um, so all the items are yellow. Uh, all the players are orange. Uh, I'm trying to get a little bit of color, something or other going on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see it. There is this the sword. Uh, I don't see any errors. Um, no, the the entities are only the entities that are visible. So if it's not on the screen, you might not be able to see it. Oh, uh, the dungeon master dropped one up there, so I can at least I can go run and grab that one at least. And there's a sword next to it, too.
Okay, so I have a dagger. Now I just need to make sure I just need to walk up to a cold and let him hit me and make sure that I do a counterattack. Here, let me for the interest of actually making this happen, let me box box us in together. Do our little knife fight in a phone book. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to slowly, slowly box this in too so we can't. There we go. Oh, crash. There we go. Uh, that's something. Attack action object has no attribute owner. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that is true. Um, let me see. Action. This base class action. Parents. So owner. Um. I could just I could just add it to the um on the perform. That that would probably be fine. Um uh, self dot owner equals owner. This is really only here for counter attacking purposes. Yeah, and I'm also curious why that dagger's not showing up. Let me just put it right next to the um right next to the sword. So at 25 7 and let's go 27 7. And the axe at 15 9. Let me make it 15 7. Hey Tyreek. Uh, take care of false park location. Hey, Robo Jester. All right, let's let's see if we can get this counterattacking uh, nonsense working. Okay, so I have the dagger. I'm also wondering maybe I should make the kobolds move less. There we go. There's our knife fight in a phone book. So when he hits me, I should hit him back. If he, yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's weird that it happened like that and we got a crash. None type is not iterable. Um, let me look at X, Y, goes off the position. Ooh. Oh, because it killed the kobold. So looks like our, our stack trace is something. Um, form action, perform action, um, owner move, uh, action perform, 
And then it's action if owner visible. So entities line 32 is where we crashed. Um, let's look at entities. Or entity line 32. Um, so did the interleave happen? Oh, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't be removing on uh, creature hurt. Yeah, let's just let's not worry about this right now. Um, let's try that again. Yeah, no, I guess the uh, the saying is a is like a is a knife fight in a phone book. Uh, which mean or phone booth rather? Sorry, maybe maybe I did mess that up. Fly, knife fight in a phone booth. Uh, yeah, that makes more sense. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, my brain might have been preventing me from saying it though. Cool. So let's uh, let's uh, keep 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 testing this. Join and again, folks, feel free to join if you like. Um, uh, this is going to be a debug session, so it's going to be pretty short, but. You're always welcome to do that. Or if you if you get if you get a hold of the dagger first, I might test it out or have you test it out on me or something. Yeah, Nymphius, if you want to come up and uh, smack me and make sure that I counterattack you, that would be helpful. I'm going to move over to the right a little bit. And I'll, I'll just sit here and let you, you attack me. Uh, hey, HGW4Fun. Okay, yep. Uh, do it all the way and see what happens when you die, if it crashes again. No, cool, we got rid of the, the crashing, which is nice. Um, I don't like the fact that it, it does, it looks like, a, it looks like the counterattack actually is, uh, the, the, it gets printed out before the actual attack. Um, which looks like a, like a preemptive kind of thing. Um, cool. So let's see if I can clean this up. Uh, I'm going to close it out here, folks. So, um, uh, so we have the item and the dagger has an on hurt, uh, which says do all this, all this jazz. Um, um, Yeah, because we perform it because basically, unless, unless I could flip around some of that verbiage, so maybe in the attack action, if I just move the, the text up, that'll fix it. Let's look at that. Action, um, attack. Um, yeah, so let's just, let's just move this or just move this below, and that should fix that. Cool. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me just commit this real quick. Uh, all right. Um. Also, actually, let me. Um, let me look at this uh, an item uh, console do you have a, have a console in here no yeah I do have a console cool so console for print I want to say um, so and so counter attacks and should just be owner.name. Which should be okay. All right, so I think I'm just going to let it uh, run for a little bit. We got about 20 minutes left. Um, 
but let's play a little while. So we've got we've got a few folks here in chat, and let's just fire it up and uh, have some some kobold killing fun. And I, I I really am concerned that if two people have daggers and attack each other, they will just counterattack until they they die. So I want to verify that happens, and then I want to figure out how to fix that. So feel free to join in. I'm going to, I'm going to let this run for maybe a good little while. I'm just drawing the level. Don't mind me. Um, so I want, well, if you only, only allow one attack per turn, um, I don't know if that would make the counterattack ineffective, you know? So I want the counterattack to be a response to receiving an attack. I'm thinking we might need to track some state or something there. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, well, I think I think counterattack. So so my thought is is if so if, if say if two folks have a dagger, uh, if person one attacks person two, person two will counter, and then should person one counter back, and then it's done, or like how 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 should that how how should the logic on that kind of work together? I'll join in on this too because it looks like there's a lot of folks in here. Ooh, I'm gonna grab a sword. Oh, except for I mixed up my uh, my directions. Okay. All right, where do I want to go? Oh, there's a few more kobolds up, up north now, I guess. Uh, D-Bash, okay, you have a dagger. Uh-oh, here we go. Uh... Oh, interesting. So Joshua slashes D-Bash. Debash counterattacks, Debash stabs. Okay, so it, it didn't do it forever. That's a, that's good. The question is why? Uh, it it just did not happen. So I'm curious. So so Debash, if you attack me, what happens? He does. Wait, no. Uh, oh, I don't. I have a sword. That's right. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I need to go find uh, a so a uh, dagger. Um, I think I think uh, D bash. Um, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I may have put a wall underneath the potion, Nymphius. Let me just get rid of that for you. Now you should be able to move down and grab it. Uh, let me rejoin, I guess.
I guess I guess I could wait a moment for the uh, the dungeon master to drop some more daggers, or maybe maybe they they have and they're just outside the level or where we can't see them. All right, Nymphius, we can we can trap this kobold. Uh yeah, uh, um it's <laughs> it's 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 I'm building a Twitch plays game, so it's a Twitch first game, and also I'm developing it while people play it. So it's 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 interesting. Uh, I I enjoy it. It's it's different. It's 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 cool. At least I think so. Yeah. Um. So Weezy, feel free to jump in if you want. Just type in exclamation point join. Uh, it, it is drop in drop out. So there's no real. Um, the the rules really aren't super codified right now. It's still kind of just building stuff and seeing what what actually um, works and doesn't work. Um, Debug is asking for an alias or debash. Excuse me, is asking for a alias for moving, which might be, which I agree would probably be nice. All right. Um, I'm gonna grab that sword. And there's no other drag daggers have dropped, have there? Um, that is a shame. Again, let me let me just poke some more holes to the outside because again, there, there might be items out in this this black area we haven't been to yet. I guess uh, Robo Jester is heading to the outside as well. I, I, I get the feeling that sometimes it's um, it the the bot is missing people's input. Uh, is this the case? Because I think uh, this was a bug with the the Twitch integration that I fixed a while ago. I'm just not sure if um, I've installed that version on my machine or not. Oh, there's another dagger out there. Um, all right, so I need somebody to grab that dagger in the top. Maybe Nymphius, if you can grab that dagger. And then if you and D-Bash could have a dagger fight, I'm really curious to see how that goes down. Provided you guys can stay alive that long. No, um, are you hitting the Twitch spam? Or, or what do you mean you couldn't send it because it was the same message you sent before? Yeah, so easy. yeah, this is multiplayer. Uh, all the people on the right are people in chat. Um, so yeah, again, you can just type in exclamation point join, like in the bottom right, and you can play along if you want. Um, so if you look at people's health, uh, the health bar to the right, the far right, the little yellow eye, uh, the little letter indicates what, what they're wielding. So the, the little yellow Ds are daggers, yellow S is sword, the yellow A is an axe. Um, over here, the kobolds have this white F, which stands for a fist, uh, which isn't super great, but um, it, it's something. All right, another dagger has spawned. I'm going for it. Hopefully that cold doesn't beat me there. All right, Dbash, I'm going to get you. Uh, 
Yep. <laughs> okay, so, so it looks like two dagger wielders crashed it, crashed the game. Let's see what happened. Oh, it, oh yeah. Oh, maximum recursion depth hit. Uh, because we... Oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, that's not great. Um, <laughs> uh, so what should we... How, how to fix it? it? We need to fix it by only allowing a single counterattack. Um, and also... Um, I think also, too, um, on the creature... Um, hurt... Um, let's say you can't hurt a creature that already has less than zero health. Um, um, we're actually here. Let's just say if, if, um, self dot current health greater than zero and it has that. So that should make it, they, they'll still fight to the death. Um, but, um, they won't, uh, it shouldn't crash. And also let's see if we can tweak how the, the counterattack works. Um, um, so we just, we just roll a new attack action. Um, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I mean, the, the gross thing to do is just say, uh, counter dot tags uh, equals counter. Um, and then um, if hurt, if has adder, uh, hurt action, comma, uh, tags, if hurt action dot tags, or if uh, counter in hurt action dot tags return. So don't don't counter a counter is what this should do. Uh, not a super great solution, but I got seven minutes left on my stream, so let's see if we can make this work. <laughs> yeah, that that was how it was going to work. Is Two dagger, two dagger fighters would fight to the the one of their deaths. Um, as long as they had different levels of health, one would survive. Um, that's not super reassuring. Yeah, um, yeah. I think I'm just gonna let this run till the till the end of the stream. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't crash the world again. Um, but if it does, that's 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 fine. That's funny. So if you, if you, if you folks are curious about what's going on, join now or forever hold your peace. There are a lot of, oh man, D-Bash, you are in a, oh, you guys, Suzui, you, that, that's a rough room in there. Um, <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys can make it out of there all right. Oh, so the dagger is coming in handy. Nice. Yeah, because because I'm I'm hoping the dagger also helps. Like, if you have a lot of lag, I'm hoping that by by equipping a dagger, it can help you, um, like have your character kind of automatically defend themselves a little bit, which which might be nice. Also, let me open up some uh, some more doors here, so we can try to improve connectivity of these these areas. Man, there are so many players, and there are not a lot of kobolds. Um, there's one, there's one kobold spawned in there. The kobold has an axe. Yikes! Where am I? Uh...
Yeah, it looks like I totally did not get my um, yeah, my message. Yeah, I, th I think I, I need to double check my the the uh, mo uh, the package I wrote for handling Twitch chat. Oh, Nymphius, you died! No, because <laughs> uh, I think I think there's there's a potential that um, the messages get cut off and it's it's fixed. But I need to make sure that I'm using the fixed version. And if it, if it is the fixed version, then I need to double check my fix. All right, there's there's somebody to go to go rough up. Yeah, Dbash has a has a dagger, which makes makes attacking them like a a tough uh makes it makes it a tough prospect to attack somebody with a dagger. Um, so I'm not sure if I should make the sword do four damage or how to how to balance that out. You know, I need to find. Oh, there's a dagger over there. Oh man. There's a dagger next to me! There's so many daggers in the middle here. Yeah, so we so I would like to test out um uh two dagger wielders mixing it up. Um Yeah, there are so many daggers here in the middle. That dungeon that dungeon master wants us to really uh get in get into it. Uh, Robo Jester, where are you? You're way out there. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know, Jonathan. That's a, that's a good suggestion, too. Like, I want the dagger... Yeah, I want it to be useful, but I don't want it to be overpowered. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of um, not necessarily realistic, but interesting move sets for the players. So, so you, you, you understand my, my my thoughts about having a weapon that allows you to counterattack anything. Um, and this is again trying to help out players with a lot of lag. All right, Tyreek, me and you uh, to the end. Yeah, so it looks like it's working out okay, and we're not we're not ending the world. Oh no, Zach perished. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Tyreek killed me with the counterattack. I, mean, I could start, or I could lower the dagger, the dagger, uh, the dagger's damage down to one. That would probably be okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I added a check to not allow the the, uh, the fights to go on forever. Um, that was that I added a, a, an attribute called tags, which is just a list of strings, and then the counterattack um, it checks uh, to see if it's countering a counter, and if if that is the case, it doesn't perform the attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I think somebody stabbed you to death, Tyreek. <laughs> yeah, Nymphius, I agree. This has been this has been a, a productive and very fun uh, lunch break. Um, yeah, so I guess, I guess I'll I'll do my outro and I will leave this running for as long as people want to play it. Um, uh, so let me think. So yeah, so hey, I, I'm Joshua. Um, I work on a game called Delver. Delver is my full time job right now. Um, but uh, let me think. so I stream Delver work every Sunday at noon. Um, that is mostly like pixel art, 3D art, programming, all that good stuff. Uh, we're pushing, um, actually, we're pushing for the final release. Um, we, we've made some uh, 
uh, some, I think some good decisions and we're trying to get this game like done done by the end of this month. So I'm pushing really hard. I'm excited about it. Uh, but I still take time during my lunch uh, breaks to work on this. This is lunch break uh, roguelike. Um, you could find the source code at github.com slash Joshua Skelly slash lunch dash break dash RL if you want to check out the code. Um, I, I Every lunch for me, that's, that's 12 uh, p.m. Pacific, uh, I stream this uh, for an hour a day. Uh, and you're welcome to hang out with me. I appreciate it. Um, also, I'm a, I'm a Twitch affiliate now, so that's a thing. Um, if there's a little subscribe button up top, uh, you can click that and support me. That would be awesome. Uh, but not only out of the goodness of your heart, um, at the end of this month, the last Friday of this month, that would be uh, Friday the 28th, I will do a subscriber stream. So for eight hours, I will work on projects that the subscribers tell me to work on. Uh, you folks are welcome to drop in and watch me work. Uh, it's open to everybody, but subscribers get to tell me what to do. So hopefully that will entice you to subscribe. You got time. All right, um, I'll let this run. Have a good day and I will see you tomorrow.